This week, we report an update on Japan's Hokkaido chum salmon fishery and compare it to Russia's and Alaska's chum salmon fisheries. The Hokkaido chum salmon fishery in Japan typically starts up at the end of August. Preseason forecasts out of the Hokkaido Research Institute for the 2020 season is calling for about a 20 million fish to be harvested over the next month or so. The Institute's forecast uses the method of proportion between age cohorts of maturing chum salmon returning to spawn as some evidence for the next year's return forecast. Fishing is typically slow until around mid-September, but can then reach its peak harvest within a few weeks by the end of the month. Hokkaido chum salmon are mainly consumed domestically in the Japanese market, and according to data from the Japanese government, 65,000 metric tons of chums, or 16% of the total catch in Hokkaido, went to export markets in 2018. Now for a review of the 2019 season. Just over 17 million chums were harvested in 2019, which is a staggering 76% of the previous year's numbers, where 27.6 million fish were harvested. Fish size averaged about 3.32 kilograms, or 7.3 pounds, for 2019, an increase from the 3.04 kilograms, or 6.7 pounds, last year. 2019's harvest represents the worst year over the last five years, for chum salmon harvest levels in Japan. The Hokkaido Research Institute believes that this shortfall may be due to a significant change in siblings' relationships between the numbers of three to four-year-old fish and the numbers of four to five-year-old fish. However, the reason why there were changes in sibling relationships remains unclear. So how does Hokkaido chum salmon harvest compare globally to other countries? Recent updates from Russia show that about 18,000 metric tons, or an estimated 6 million chum salmon, have been harvested. Russia's 2020 preseason forecast was for 113,000 metric tons, or an estimated 36 million fish. In 2019, chum salmon harvest in Russia totaled 112,000 metric tons, or 36.6 million fish, and in 2018, 110,000 metric tons, or 49.7 million fish. In the USA, Alaska's Kita harvest just passed the 5 million fish mark, which is 12 million behind the state's five-year average and only a quarter of the species 2020 projections have been realized. As for Washington State's chums, the fall fishery has not begun. However, fishery managers are warning for another troubled season. In 2019, Alaska brought in 19.8 million chums and Washington brought in 287,000. The 2018 season, Alaska brought in 21.1 million and Washington 849,000 chums. As reported in previous episodes, we would not anticipate much fish from Canada for chums with the dire state of the BC's wild salmon fisheries. 2019 saw only 185,000 chums commercially harvested in Canada compared to 764,000 fish in 2018. Our recommendation is to purchase your chum salmon needs now, as chum salmon supplies will sell out this year. The gauge on Russian chums is that it will be short this year and most of its supply will go to China. Keep tuned into your 3 Minute Market Insights as we continue to monitor and report on this roller coaster of a year for Wild Pacific Salmon. Thank you for joining me for the Tradex Foods 3 Minute Market Insight. This has been Tasha Cadence reminding you to stay safe, buy smart, and eat more seafood.